everyone for today's video I think I'm gonna test out something and just film it and see how it goes so I think I want to try using the Cricut heat transfer vinyl on leather I'm just gonna try it on some different scrap pieces of leather and then see if it actually works this vinyl from Cricut it's just the rose gold heat transfer vinyl and then I have like four pieces of leather black piece this one definitely has a texture. This one has a little bit of a different texture. It's less stiff, so it's a little bit softer. This one is totally flat, but it does have a finish. And this one is really nice to write on in that video where I tested the quill pen. And then this one is just veg tan leather without any finish. So they should all give like a different outcome I would think because they have different finishes and different texture and different treatments so I wanted to try all of them and see if any of them work better than the others. So I'm going to use this vinyl transfer from Cricut, this vinyl heat transfer in rose gold but I'm not going to use my Cricut to cut it out because I just don't feel like setting up the machine so I'm just going to cut it with my scissors and I don't know why, but I guess I've done this before with the heart shape. I don't remember when, but I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut out the heart using my scissors because it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just a test. So I have my iron and you just want to make sure that you're using the right setting. You don't want any steam because the water could wreck your leather. So I'm just going to put it on the one to setting because that's the driest and the lowest setting that I have. So I'm going to place my heart face up so that when it's set that I can peel the plastic off the top. I'm just going to cut out some smaller pieces from the leather so that it's easier to maneuver. So I always put something over top so that the iron doesn't get stuck to my pieces. I use like a um, a tissue or a parchment paper kind of material and then I also grab a board to put underneath so I don't ruin my beautiful wood surface. I ended up ironing for I think maybe 10 seconds but it wasn't enough so I did have to go back and iron over and over again. I just would test it and you can see on my first test that it's still peeling off the bottom. So I did go back and just kind of held it down for a little bit longer. But eventually I got it to work. As you can see here, I'm just about to peel off the plastic. And when I pulled the plastic off, none of the foil came up with it, which was great. And then once the plastic was off, you can see how well it stuck to the leather. I was actually really surprised because there's no edge. It feels really secure and flush on the leather and you can even see some of the leather texture from underneath the foil as well. So I'm just going to continue on doing the same thing with all of the different types of leather that I grabbed. Each of them um, was mostly the same result. There was one piece that gave me kind of a headache and I didn't really get it to do what I wanted in the end. But just um, stay tuned, <laughs> I'll show you that. And this is just basically a time lapse of me trying all of the different pieces.
Now that I know that the iron on works with leather, I'm going to try it on an actual project. I had a monogram keychain cut out from leather from a previous project that I didn't finish. So now I'm cutting out a pattern on the iron-on vinyl. You can probably hear the cricket in the background. It's going to be cutting for a long time because it's kind of an intricate project. So it's been cutting probably already for like five minutes. And I'm only at 27%. Probably take another 15 minutes. Let's see, Let's see what it looks like. There it is. Okay, I finished my little project. It was a little tedious because I had the edge bleed over the S and that just meant when I peeled some off that the part that was not ironed on was coming off and it was also attached to the part that was ironed on so it's easier for it to lift and come off. So that was really tricky. Um, I did try and take an X-Acto knife to go around it, but the X-Acto knife didn't really slice through, so I, then I used scissors, and scissors seemed to work a lot better. I would not recommend doing it the way I did it, but this is the end. It's just a keychain of the letter S, and I used this like crazy, looks kind of like a brain or maybe like a circuit board or something. Um, anyways, that was a fun test. Uh, it does work. I think it'd be a cool idea if you want to personalize your day planner or whatever. It definitely worked better when it was a larger image and um, just put this solid piece on because these ones definitely don't feel like they could easily come off. I still think that if scratched or you know, just abused by regular day use that it would peel off, but these ones are definitely on there a lot flatter and a lot more flush with the fabric. Let me know if you have any tips for using um, iron-on on leather. I love working with leather, so if there's anything else you want me to test or try, just let me know in the comments below.